Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Ooh. Let's put a little bit of water on me. Oof. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about this whole Zaya way, this bussy badass, this, this just this whole this mess that shouldn't even be fucking mess because this grown ass man decides to always stick his ugly ass, big ass, stank ass nose in other people's business. Worry about your kids. Worry about your music career. Worry about the fact that you always are in jail because you have a side nigga in jail that's fucking you and telling you to make sure you bring her ass back. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about the fact that, bitch, you're undercover. Let's talk about the fact that you are a predator. Let's talk about the fact that you have no respect for anybody and anything. Let's talk about the fact that your only claim to fame is your thug life and what you've done in your past life. You don't have anything else to claim for that. You just, all you do is spew hate and just, just, you spew hate and you just spew bullshit. And it pisses me off because you have such a huge following and you have all of these kids, all these black kids who look up to you. And instead of enlightening these kids, you choose to instill in them hatred and deceit and lies and thug life and just you you just you don't choose to do anything good with your channel you don't do anything i have yet to see you do anything good you don't talk about anything good all i ever see you talk about is children and if you're not talking about children these days you're talking about children's motherfucking genitalia you need to grow the fuck up and you need to close your fucking mouth you're fucking sick you are you are you are and you're so sad because you don't even take the initiative to educate yourself you don't take the initiative to not be ignorant about the situation you continue to be ignorant and you continue to spew hatred all you do is talk about zaya's genitalia why are you so concerned why like this is honestly a whole message for the whole black community. This is a whole message for just communities in general. I need you guys to understand that just because somebody is transitioning doesn't mean that they are cutting off their paraphernalia at the age of fucking 12. Paraphernalia, their genitalia at the age of fucking 12. Like, are you guys serious? What, what does that have to do with you? What, what does that have to do with you? Bussy badass. What does Zaya Wade's genitalia have to do with you? What does her... I'm sorry. What does her sexuality have to do with you? You hold no weight in her life. You have no value, but you continue to have an opinion. And I understand everybody's entitled to their own opinion, but the fact that you know it's wrong and you continue to speak out on it, that's where I have a problem. And that's where the line needs to be crossed. And I'm looking and there's no line. I, can, I see a continuous in influx of followers i see an increase of attention on your page i see an increase of just bullshit like i it it it, it baffles me it really baffles me that you feel that it's okay to not only disrespect zaya wade you decided to disrespect Zaya's father by telling him that him doing his job as a parent him encouraging his child to be who she feels who she really is he's nobody said nothing about her cutting her penis off and getting a pussy nobody's talking about that nobody said that and that's what irritates me because why is it that black people feel not even black people people feel that trans when they first hear trans it's cutting off the penis cutting off the pussy why 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 don't we 
try to educate ourselves. It takes two seconds. The two minutes that you put into those first two videos talking about Zaya, you could have put those two minutes into Google and you could have been doing some research as to why you should shut the fuck up. As to why you should educate yourself. As to why your 40 something year old man out here talking about getting some head for your 12 year old son. Do you see the problem? We get it, you have money. Money doesn't make you invincible. Money makes you, as you can see, very motherfucking stupid. Because once you have the money, you feel like you don't need to learn more. In Boosie's case, I'm not speaking for everyone with money. In Boosie's case, and it sets a bad example because there's kids who follow him. And these kids that Boosie, continues to brainwash will listen to him and they're going to spread it it spreads like wildfire and they will treat other transgender people the way that he's treating Zaya and it it, it bothers me that it doesn't bother him and Busty Busty boy Busty badass you need to get a life get a life you need to understand that when you, you should already know, cause you've been famous since I was like eight. My brother, who's like 28, 30, been vibing to you since he was like 15. Bitch, I've known about you since I was like eight. Bitch, I'm from Broward. Like, I, I understand. You, you should understand that as, a celebrity that what you say holds so much weight so much weight and what you say can influence so many people in a matter of seconds and you you fail to realize just because you delete the post doesn't mean it's gone you posted that and it's on the world it's on the internet forever it will be on the internet from when you posted it till past the day you die you could die tomorrow and it will still be there. And all these people who've loved you will know you as the homophobic, the predatory, the childish, the immature, the ignorant rapper, Bad Bussy, Lil Bussy. And you're okay with that. And you're fine with that. You sit here and you talk all this shit about Planet Fitness. Like you don't, like you didn't just, you didn't just give faith to a 12 year old child. You gave a whole two minute video, four minute, cause you did two videos about it. About a child who don't even know who you are and will never know who you are because you're so beneath them. Your money, your life, your words hold nothing to this child, but yet you continue to spew hate. You continue to talk bad about this child. You continue to degrade this child. And I know you didn't say anything vulgar, but you, you, you degraded this child by talking about cutting off her penis, by talking about her father, her mother, by talking about her. You degraded her, you embarrassed her, and you disrespected her. And you need to be punished. Because the gig's up. We know who you are. All the girls know, girls like you, girls who hate on these trans girls, and girls like you who hate on these gay girls, hate on them because you can't live the life that they live. You can't live freely. You hate them because they're stronger than you. You kill them because they chose to live their life the way they wanted to live it, not the way that their parents wanted them to live it. You kill these people and you choose to bully these people because they took the step to want better for them. They took the step to not give a fuck about what you dickheads have to say. And for that, 
you don't like it and you choose to bully you choose to criticize you choose to hate and you choose to talk bad about people these lgbtq people and it's old and i'm tired because it bothers me because all my life i've been bullied for just being mean and it's tragic that Zaya, and not only Zaya, this isn't just about Zaya. Understand, don't get some, don't get this twisted. Zaya, the only reason I'm talking about Zaya is because this is about her, but this is about a whole community of people. Zaya is a big part of a whole community. This isn't just Zaya who this is bothering. This is other people who have to deal with this every single day of their life. Do you guys understand this? This isn't just a two minute video. This is somebody's life that you guys joke about and laugh at. What? You a video? Oh my God. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. My boyfriend just popped up on me. I'm at his job currently because I'm waiting for him. None of your business. Anyways, um, y'all don't care. Anyways, like I was, oh my God, I just lost my train of thought. My, my train of thought. I was really good. I was really getting into it because I'm just like really disgusted. And like I was saying, it bothered me because I've been bullied all my life. And the guys who bullied me were always the guys who were overly masculine, overly assertive, overly just extra. Just the guys who are on the football team, just the guys who claim they were so straight, they get so much pussy, so much cricket, they doing this, doing that, fucking this, fucking that. They don't like faggots, this, that, and the third. Though The guys who did that, the go those guys who bullied me, those are the guys who wanted me and who wanted to fuck me. That's the real key. And I don't know if you girls know this, but Lil Boosie is giving Zaya all this attention because he has some things he has to work on within himself. Boosie hasn't done his work. Boosie is a person who has so much self so much self hatred. He is bound to self destruct at any minute. And we've seen it on multiple occasions. He has issues. We all do. We don't fault him. But we fault you for not wanting better for yourself. That's the difference. As a grown ass man, you should be doing better. You should be doing better. You shouldn't be on the internet trolling a kid. Cause that's what you're doing. You're doing it for the fun and games. You're not doing it because you don't not, you're not doing it because you don't like trans people and gay people. You're doing it to troll her. And you know that, you know that. It's nothing about her cootie cat. It's nothing about her being trans. You're doing it because you hate LGBTQ people because you are a part of the community. And if you ever came out, nobody would respect you. That's how you feel. That's how you feel. You feel as though if you came out, nobody would respect you. And you feel as though if you came out, people would try to kill you. Your parents would disown you. And you're too late in your life to come out. So you're going to continue to go to jail and get fucked rather than just coming out and living a normal life. I mean, that's fine. If that's how you want to live, so be it. I'm not one to judge. We all like getting fucked. The best of us do. But unfortunately for you, you, you just choose not to live with it. You choose to fight it. You choose to hate yourself. You choose to put all of your self-hate on to Zaya. Like I told you guys in my previous video, if I even, if I post this one first or not, what I said was, people are mirrors. People reflect onto you what they hate most about themselves. People will tell you only what they see and what they hate about themselves. Remember that because that is the truth. People are mirrors and mirrors are portals. People are mirrors and mirrors are portals. People are projecting all of their self hate, all of their trauma, all of their lust, 
all of their insecurities onto you because that's how they feel about themselves and they choose not to deal with themselves so they choose to deal with you and by dealing with you they make you feel about you and that's how the game works it's just an endless cycle of repeating bullshit and we need to be the generation to stop the bullshit because there's no reason, there is no excuse, there is no answer, there is no past. I don't even know what any other comparisons I can give. There's no other words. There's How long are we going to continue to do this? How long are we going to continue to do this? And the guys who continue, the people who who don't respect it and who don't like it are Bible thumpers. Bible thumpers. Bible thumpers. The people who show the most hate are Bible thumpers. The people who show the most hate and show the most judgment. Two of which shouldn't even coexist coexist coincide with what they believe in they choose to do those two very things they choose to overlook everything else not all but most they choose to overlook child predators they choose to overlook murderers they choose to overlook everything in the book they will overlook everything they will choose a child molester before they choose a LGBTQ member. And this isn't a good or bad. This isn't, oh, well, so you're putting this on the scale of, it's not about that. Listen to what I'm saying. People would rather choose a child predator over someone who is just trying to be them. People will fight. People will kill another person over a dog before they choose to fight, to coexist, and to stand with members of the LGBTQ community. And with that, I rest my case. Thank you guys so much for watching all my recent YouTube videos. You guys are the best. Thank you guys for liking, comment, subscribing, sharing. Just thank you guys so much. Without you guys, bitch, I wouldn't be doing this because you guys motivate me to keep doing what I'm doing. And for that, I'm very thankful. So thank you guys for watching my video. I will be posting three times this week, so stay tuned. This will be the second or first or second video i decided to post so you know just stay tuned and thank you guys for watching thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys so much cheers have a good one